Mr. Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler Yeah, listen, I'll tell you what, Jonesy, I'll bring the van round to the back of your shop as soon as it gets dark. You help me load the meat onto the van, we'll take it to this mate of mine, he owns a restaurant. Yeah, now, don't look like that, he'll see you all right. Now, look, Joe, I told you hundreds of times I'm having nothing to do with your black market activity. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, what are you talking about? Black market? He owns a Chinese restaurant. Well, yellow market, I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> Thomason? Sir? Why aren't the men falling in? Well, uh, possibly because I haven't told them to, sir. But would you mind telling them yes, now? Yes, 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 yes. All right, sir, just pay attention, you chaps, will you please? Would you mind just falling in in three ranks as quick as you can? <laughs> no time to lose. Right, come on. Right now. <coughs> Toon. Toon. John! <laughs> wasn't awfully good, was it? Toon. Stand at ease. <laughs> well, Jody, do you think you could perhaps manage to do it at the same time as the others do it? I'm uh, sorry, Sergeant. You see, it makes the rest of the platoon look so slovenly. Oh, I'm sorry, Sergeant. I'm sorry, well, Sergeant. Well, it could possibly be the way in which I give the word of command, I suppose. Uh, no, Mr. Wilson, hmm? you give a lovely word of command. Oh. <laughs> and if I may say so, you're a little bit refined. Jeez, the sergeants I'm used to drilling under used to bark it out very fiercely, you know, them being mostly of a savage nature. You bark it out and you will not find me lacking. You don't want a sergeant, you want an Alsatian. All right, now, no, no. <laughs> Top of this bickering. All right, now, perhaps if I was to shout just a little bit oh, louder... Just get on with it. Go. All right, <clears throat> play attention now. Platoon, platoon, shout! <laughs> <laughs> Remarkable, don't you think so, sir? Yeah. I've only one slight criticism to make. Mm -hmm. That is that the rest of the platoon is standing at attention and Jones is standing at ease. What? <laughs> Oh, yes, my Jones, so he is. Look, uh, Jonesy, do you think you could possibly manage to get your get your legs together? What do you mean, <laughs> get your legs together? You're supposed to be a sergeant, not a headmistress of a girls' school. <laughs> oh, Marcus, sir, the only slight criticism that I have is that uh, the rest of the squad appears to me to be uh, kind of... Uh, <coughs> it, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Stand to attention, the rest of you. Very smart, Jones. Thank you, sir. I've got some nice kidneys for Mrs. Mannering. But... <laughs> Don't talk on parade, Corporal. Just put them in the office after the inspection. <laughs> what's... What's in your pockets, Walker? Well, that's a pound of granulated and that's a pound of sultanas. <laughs> I really must check this sort of thing, you know, before I inspect the troops. This is disgraceful, Walker. Absolutely disgraceful. If you do that kind of thing again, you'll just have to throw it into the dustbin. Well, it makes no odds to me. I mean, you've paid for them. <laughs> Well, it wasn't for me, sir. It was for Mrs. Pike. Godfrey? Uh, can I have your assistance, sir? Look your front. <laughs> and don't wear your hat straight on your head like that. Look like George Formby. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I... Oh, would you mind holding that, sir? <laughs> Is that better, sir? What's the...? Well, I, I get a twinge of gout during the damp spells. Uh, fortunately, only in one foot. <laughs> you can't come on parade looking like that. All right, stand at ease, everybody. Now, pay attention. Now, it's quite clear to me that this platoon is getting very lax in the matter of personal appearance and discipline. And this is borne out by a signal I've received from the CEO. Apparently, he came through here yesterday and did not receive one single salute. Furthermore, a certain Lance Corporal was found to have his hands plunged deep into his trouser pockets. Permission to confess, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I was that certain Lance Corporal. I'm surprised at you, Jones. I've always found you most punctilious about saluting. Yes, sir. Well, that was just a touch of forgetfulness. Forgetfulness? Can't forget what an officer looks like. No, I've forgotten me braces, you see, sir. <laughs> and I wanted to keep my hands in my pockets, because if I'd raise them to salute, I thought the result might seem unseemly. I see. Yes, sir. Well, for the next five minutes, we're going to do some saluting. You can give the orders, Jones. Very good, sir. And remember, 
It's the longest way up, one, shortest way down, two. And pay particular attention to this point. Palm to the front, index finger in line with the right eyebrow. Thus. All right. Hi, chap. Get on. Go, chap. Squad! Head! Move to the left. Lay! Head! Squad! Head! Longest way up, one. Squad! Shortest way down, two. Squad! Long way up, one! Oh, I say, well, uh, bless you. Um, <laughs> that's rather taken the wind out of my sails. I, I came in here to be very cross with you, Mr. Mannering. Someone has written something very rude on the back of my spare harmonium. Good. How does that concern my platoon? It's in the tower room. Your men sleep in there when they're on fire watch. Oh, no, no, no. My men wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, they have. Come and see for yourself. <coughs> You better come with me. We'll right, sir. Right. Carry on saluting. Go. Very good, Jack. Squad. Hoo. Shortest way down, two. Squad. Hop. Long Longest way, way up, one. one. Squad. Hoo. Shortest way down, two. Hurry up, Wilson. Yeah, I'm coming. Not in very good condition, huh? are you? <laughs> there. What have you got to say to that? Oh. <clears throat> well, my men don't do that sort of thing. I'm jolly well going to prove it. Well, just wait, you Let's go. <coughs> oh. My goodness me, it's an awfully long way up from here, you know. Yes. Well, I want you to run down again. What? And get Corporal Jones a section up oh, here. Not all the way down there again, sir. Yes, please. please. All right. Can I go home, then? Of course you can't go home. I want you up here as a witness. You can dismiss the rest of the men. All right. Now, then, where's the instrument? I beg your pardon? Where is the instrument that the culprit used? Oh, here it is. It's a wax crayon. What's more, it won't rub out. We better try again. Come on now. Squad, hop! Longest way up, one! Oh, wait a minute, lads. As you were, as you were. Now, listen, when you stick it up in line with the eyebrows, I will get up to the top there and give it a little wiggle at the top, like this, see? Wiggle, wiggle. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Squad, hop! Longest way up, one! one. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> Joe, that's all right. That's enough of that. Now, uh, just get your section, get your sec section together, will you? In single file, and at the double up to the top of the church tower. There, and the rest of them you can send home. All right. right. I said, now you know what the officer said. Rest you go home. My section at the double now. Left, right, 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 left, right. Come along, Wilson. I want to dispose of this matter as soon as possible. All right. Really, Mannering, I don't see the point in having the whole platoon come pounding in here with their great big boots. Look. I'm not having a slur like that hanging over my troops. Every one of my men is going to copy those letters, and you're going to compare the handwriting. Mr. Mannering, I am here to look after the right, spiritual right, needs right, of my right, parish, right, not to right, play right, Inspector right, Hornley right, investigates. Right. Ah, where's the sergeant? Well, we still down the bottom, sir. He's a bit breathless, sir. Mm, I see. Yes, sir. Well, uh, <coughs> I brought you men up here because you were the last on duty up here. Sir. Now, Corporal Jones. Sir. You see that word? Yes, sir. Have you done that? Do you mean recently, sir? <laughs> Did you write that? <laughs> Mr. Manning, I never thought you could think I was incapable of such improper conduct. Now, there's nothing personal about this, Jones, but I want you to take that crayon and copy those letters underneath. What, now? Now. What, in front of the public? In front of the public. Under the Padre? Don't get on with it. It's no good, sir. I can't do it, sir. It's an order, Corporal. Yeah, perhaps he'd rather do one of his limericks, eh, Jonesy? What? There was a young lady called Vickers who yes. often went out with a... that in confidence? Oh, right. All right. Ah. Well, that clears you, Jones. I want you to know, sir, I did not enjoy that. Neither did I. Your next walker. My mum wouldn't like that, come Mr. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Shall I sign it? <laughs> I don't see any similarity to you, Vicar. Don't drag me into it. Pike, you're next. What's it mean, Mr. Mannering? All in good time, boy. Right. Well, Mr. Speak, sir. Not at the moment, Joe. Carry on. Has it occurred to you that somebody has got to remove all this? Permission to do out, sir. And not at the moment, please, Joe. Right, Fraser, you're next. I'm the refusing to be. <laughs> Did I hear you all right? 
You did, sir. He that toucheth pitch shall be defiled. Permission to report the verger is outside, sir. That <laughs> five minutes late. No, he's outside the window. I beg your pardon. Yeah, he's going side to side and up and down. Well, what? Hey, oh, verger! Well, you sainted heart. What's he doing outside the window? Well, I told him to clean the window, but I never expected him to go to that length. Good heavens! It's a barrage balloon. So what? what? He's caught on the cable of a barrage balloon. Oh, yeah, it's a right thing. Andrew yeah. I'm back. Follow me down, Wilson. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Mr. Yelpin. If you could manage to hang on just a little longer, I'll try and summon assistance. <laughs> Mr. Mannering. Oh, Mr. Mannering, the verger has been taken from us. <laughs> <laughs> we should have him under control. Oh, I'm very glad you're here, sir. Something rather odd seems to have happened to the verger. Don't panic, don't panic, Mr. Mannering. No intention of panicking. Oh. It's working out what to do. Vicar, I heard a voice from above. Yes, it's very distressing for you, Miss Godfrey. I thought an angel from on high had visited me. Well, you weren't, naturally. And then he cried out unto me, Help! I'm caught in this ruddy string. <laughs> Come on, Walter. Grab this cable and heave. Come on, Godfrey. Yeah. Would you mind holding this? Up? Oh, throw it away, man. Don't panic now. Don't panic, anyone. Well, somebody had better panic. This is killing me. <laughs> Hold on, Virgil. Help is at hand. Right. Heave. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Hang on, hang on. Look, it's twisted around that weathercock thing, around the steeple. Ah, so it is. Summerson? Coming, sir. You'll fight, run up to the top of the tower and then climb up the steeple. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, I've no time for all that palaver. One good heave will bring it away. Come on, come on. Heave! Oh, well, that's done it. Look out, Vicar! <laughs> oh, Vicar, do you think this is a judgment on us? You speak for yourself. I haven't done anything. Right, here comes. <laughs> Steady, does it. Oh. Grab him. Oh, oh, that's 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 there you go. That's uh, it. Oh, Virgil. Right, I'm right. going, Walker. Right, oh, hang on, the rest of you. Oh, flushed. Oh. There you go, son. There we are. How did it happen, Mr. Yateman? Well, I saw this cable thing wrapped round the lamppost. Well, let that be a lesson to you, not to touch things that don't concern you. You're a troublemaker. You're a troublemaker. Yeah, Joe, 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 Listen, what are we going to do? I'm going to hang on for a minute while we think what to do. Well, perhaps if we all let go, quite suddenly it might, it might float away. You can't do that. This cable goes across any high tension wires, it could black out a whole county. Well, we can't hang on here for the rest of our blooming life. Well, perhaps if we brought the whole thing down a bit further, we could grab onto the ropes attached to the balloon itself. <laughs> ah, that's a very good idea. Now, what I tell you, heave. I've got a good idea. Yes. If we brought it down a bit further, we could grab hold of the things which are attached to the balloon itself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Corporal. <laughs> right, one, two, three. Heave! One more. Heave! Heave! heave. heave. Right, never oh. pike. Walk up, right up. Right, right up. Don't. Go on. Yeah. I'm going to grab hold of one of these, I am. Hold well on. Oi, oi, who's in charge here? Oh, who are you knocking about? Where's Mattering? He's Piggy in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Just what sort of game do you think you're playing? One of these days, I'll have you suspended. Don't stand there muttering threats. Get that thing shifted. You should never have been allowed to bring it here in the first place. Now, look here, Warden. This is a runaway barrage balloon, and we're trying to control it to prevent any further damage. Well, get on the phone to the RAF, then, instead of hanging on here like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> That's exactly what I aim to do. Well, hurry up, then. Right, come along, Wilson. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Come and lend a hand on one of these ropes while we phone for help. Come along with the eight, but... No, Vicar. I'm not going up for a second time. Oh, don't worry, Verger. Lightning never strikes twice. It does in our family. I was one of twins. <laughs> Everybody, and we'll go and phone for help. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, before you go, do you think I might be excused for a minute? Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, Wilson. Oh, hey, uh, hey! If you think I'm hanging on here, you're mistaken. Oi! Here, just pretend you're the Statue of Liberty. This is a military matter, and my duty is to see that he phones properly. Wait, Miss Godfrey, come on to this. Come on, dear, get hold of it. Oh, oh come well, on. that's so good. There's not much meat on her. No worry, she's got big bones. Oh, no, 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 be brave. Uh, remember Joan of Arc. Wilson? Yes, sir? Double round and get as many of the platoon as you can. Hurry! Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Operations. Captain Manring, Warmington on Sea Home Guard here. I have to report that my men and I have just captured one of your runaway balloons. Just a moment. Anyone lost a balloon? 
There's one of you from E Sector, Balloon Amy. Will you speak? Uh, not now. Miss and Bandit's coming in over 26. Uh, take the details and notify Barrow's commander. Very good, sir. Could I have the address, please? St. Aldham's Church Hall, Warmington on Sea. Is the balloon attached to anything? Well, not now it isn't. <laughs> Was wrapped round a verger. On her way to choir practice, was she? Look, we can't have all this rubbish. Give me that. The point is this. Is it dangerous? Well, not unless it catches fire. Catches fire? Did you hear that? It can catch fire. Look, don't let anyone smoke near it and we'll get someone round before nightfall. Before nightfall? No, give this to me. Look, my men can't hold on all that time. Well, couldn't you tie it to something? Would you suggest we tie it to? Give me that. <laughs> They're not tying it to anything. It must be shifted and that's final. Perhaps the ARP people could help you. Ah, yes, that's a good idea. Get in touch with the ARP people. <laughs> I am the ARP pe people. Bandits 18, scramble 7. Sorry, I have to go now. We'll send help as soon as possible. Yes, but... Uh, she's rung off. Now, look, you're in charge and this is your responsibility. That thing must be shifted and shifted sharp. Oh, don't worry, Warden. I'm quite capable of dealing with this situation. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we can hang on any longer. What are we going to do? Now, pay attention, man. I've got one or two words to say to you. Surely to God he's not going to make a speech. <laughs> now, the RAF is coming to our assistance. He is, you know. <laughs> but naturally, they're very busy nowadays. Don't forget that Hitler is still poised across the channel, and not one of our chaps can afford to relax his vigilance for one solitary moment. Oi, oi, now, what... oi, oi, oi. I'm not standing here listening to you making a speech. Get that thing shifted. Yeah, oi, I, I, hang on a minute. Listen, why don't we walk this into pinner fields and tie it to a tree or something? Now, that's the first sensible thing anybody said for the last half hour. Why didn't you think of that? I was just about to suggest it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've got a good idea. Why don't I run and fetch my lorry, and then we can tie the balloon to it, and, and that will prevent it being wafted away by an unpleasant breeze. <laughs> another idea, sir. Uh, we could walk it into Pinner Woods and tie it to a tree or something. <laughs> yes, I'll take your place. You go and get the van. Very good, sir. I shall return here at six o'clock hours. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sir, I think if I were you, I should cancel the confirmation class today. <laughs>
Wilson? It seems to be getting higher and higher. He'll go out each time he encounters hot air. <laughs> He's never been short of that. Right, I've got that. Unidentified object in C sector, sir. Great Scott, where did that come from? Perhaps it sneaked in at wave level. Squadron 7 Squadron. I can't see him. Here's the observation field, Joe. Right out. Come on, Taffy. Right. Ready, two, three. Open, two, three. Up, two, three. <laughs> And that will evacuate its gases. Well, do you think that's wise, Jonesy? Well, blimey, we've got to do something, haven't we? All right, well, do try and take aim carefully. Surely even your lot couldn't miss a barrage balloon. Yes, but <laughs> can they miss Captain Mallory? Keep us steady, Jonesy. Have a go, Pike. What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> you're your eyes still kicking. I tell you what, let's give him three rounds in. I won't if you don't mind. Now you can fix it down again if he comes in low. Roger, you hooligans! What do you think you're playing? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's moved to eight now. Hey, Charlie Lee, huh? I spotted it. It's a ruddy balloon. Hey, wait a minute. There's a little fat brown thing on the other end. <laughs> One's blowing, he'll finish up in Belgium. Oi, you off! I'm commandeering this. Go on. Right, drive off. <laughs> He's getting lower. Well, try and catch him before he gets to the bend, Jonesy. Right. That's no good, Wilsey. He's going across the field now. Oh, no. It's a short cut, but such a pretty walk in summer. <laughs> Here, can't you go any faster, Jonesy? What do you mean? We're doing 20 now. <laughs> You'd go quicker than that if you had a big, ugly Nazi behind you. Well, you're not exactly Ronald Coleman, you know. Oh, 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 oh,
Very few scratches. Where's the balloon? It's all right, sir. It's all right. Everything's under control. <laughs> Hold on, you chaps. Attack! Hop! <laughs> 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 